conservatives freaking out over Joe Biden's vice president pick, Donald Trump really hates the Postal Service, and candy companies should be running the country. This is the summary. Okay, so let's move straight into this week's news, which I am super excited to talk about. Kamala Harris is going to be Joe Biden's running mate. Harris also signaled she'll do what vice presidential running mates usually do, aggressively attack the other side. The case against Donald Trump and Mike Pence is open and shut. His refusal to get testing up and running, his flip-flopping on social distancing and wearing masks, his delusional belief that he knows better than the experts. All of that is reason, and the reason that an American dies of COVID-19 every 80 seconds. Now, this is why I'm so excited. Kamala Harris being a prosecutor, that means that these debates are gonna be super fun to watch. Cause while she's busy roasting, I don't have a plan and way too tan, Pence won't be able to get out a word since his lips are gonna be glued to his boss's ass. Now, you can tell conservatives are scared because they've already begun their attacks. I wouldn't trust Kamala Harris. I think she's very ambitious. She's a very mean person. Nobody likes her. You have a, a sort of a mad woman, I call her, because she was so angry and so such hatred with Justice Kavanaugh. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. She seems to come across as, as a bit abrasive, as, as the president mentioned. I don't know if she can warm things up and be a little more charming. I would describe her as... Uh, um, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, uh, but smarter and without the bartending experience. She might look like the, the full package, but when it comes to people judging her, uh, especially women, I think they feel there's no warmth there. Hmm. I never see those arguments being made when it's a man they're talking about. Seriously though, why is it that when it's a man we're talking about? It's all about the politics and his policies and what he plans to do. But when it's a woman, all of a sudden we're just talking about her energy. Oh, oh, she's not warm enough. Or, oh, she's abrasive. Or how about she's too ambitious? I mean, if you're running for any public office in the United States, you have to have at least some level of ambition. I mean, come on, Trump's ambitious. He thought all of his makeup that he puts on his face would stay on his face. But here's the thing. Kamala Harris being selected as Joe Biden's vice president is historic. She's the first black woman of Indian descent to be nominated for a national office by a major party. But that's not all. She's the daughter of immigrants, a father from Jamaica and a mother from Southern India, both active in the civil rights era. Did her undergrad at Howard, which makes her the first historically black colleges and universities grad on a major ticket. 38 year old Kamala Harris came out of nowhere and as she did, she made history. She's the first woman ever to be in San Francisco's district attorney. And she is the first African-American woman in such a job ever in the state of California. Kamala Harris has received praise for creating innovative programs to reduce crime and prevent repeat offenders. Harris is the first female, first African-American, and the first Asian-American attorney general in California. Newsweek calls her one of the most powerful women in America. God damn. One of the most powerful women in America replacing one of the most racist men in America. So remember a couple weeks ago when Trump said this? With universal mail-in voting, not absentee voting, which is good, 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the USA. Delay the election until people can properly, securely, and safely vote. Right. And do you remember last week when I said this? If you look through history, this is how it starts. How a democracy turns into a dictatorship. Well, now we're in episode three of the summary and we're still talking about this same topic. Why? Because words have turned to actions. In some parts of the country, customers are waiting weeks for their mail. These neighbors in Chicago's Dunning neighborhood want consistent U.S. Postal Service mail delivery. Susan Carter says when mail is delivered, it comes late, and sometimes it's not theirs. I just think the system fell apart, and I don't think they care about us. All that stuff that's important to you that nobody else should be get. Maybe going to somebody else's house. In Baltimore, people waited two hours in hopes of getting their mail that never showed up. 
Many aren't getting bills and paychecks on time, putting a strain on their homes and businesses. Survived the COVID, survived everything. The only thing I didn't survive was the mail. As a veteran myself, I get medication through the mail. I rely on that. And not to have it when I need it, that's a travesty to a veteran. And that's not all. Because Trump is sabotaging the post office, it's affecting other areas of people's lives. To sum it up, just like all of Trump's businesses, the U.S. Postal Service seems to be falling apart. But here's the bottom line. Trump and his goons are trying to completely manipulate the election to their own benefit. And if they are successful, this will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. Okay, now on to COVID-19. What should be on the front of our minds right now, but someone doesn't like to share attention. But I'll tell you who is getting a lot of attention. Russia. Breaking overnight, a surprising claim from Russian President Vladimir Putin that a vaccine has been developed in his country and is already being given to people, including his own daughter. In the global race for a coronavirus vaccine, Russia said today it's already won, even though it hasn't completed phase three trials. That's not slowing Russia down, which today registered and approved for use its vaccine while continuing to conduct human trials. Scientists, including from the WHO, are urging caution, saying only extensive and prolonged testing can determine if a vaccine is effective and safe. See, there's something about how rushed this whole vaccine thing is in Russia that I just don't trust. Like, this makes me think it's probably not going to work out. It's like if you're all lined up on a starting line at a race, and you're just so eager to get going that you start prematurely, and then when you realize what you've just done, you accidentally trip over yourself and fall on your face in front of everyone. <laughs> what kind of loser would do that? But this is obviously just Putin trying to say he got the vaccine first. It's like Trump telling Jared Kushner that he wanted to date Ivanka first. Not Mary. No, 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 he's not insane. You know who we should be applauding right now? The candy companies. The trick or treating in doubt because of the pandemic, candy manufacturers are protecting themselves from potential losses for their biggest season. Hershey has partnered with retailers to set up Halloween merchandise earlier in the summer, in some cases four weeks earlier. In addition to the longer season, Hershey's is focusing more on family-sized packs and a fewer treats in Halloween-specific packaging. Yes. While Trump is giving the U.S. Postal Service a noogie, candy companies like Hershey's are preparing months in advance for coronavirus's impact on Halloween. I mean, hey, props to them for taking COVID seriously. I mean, at least somebody is. Now, normally I've got like one or two sort of weird or different stories um, that I talk about towards the end of the video. 2020, just any story in 2020 would go under that category just because we're, we're talking about 2020. Every story is weird and crazy, and so I think any story would go under that category. So in saying that, um, this is the end of the show for today, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it, as always. So if there's anything that you guys, again, want me to talk about, comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay updated with the channel. Have a great day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one.